by the tournament. Uh, it's a great spectacle and uh, always good to see uh, the top teams of the world trying to compete to take uh, the William and Peter's trophy home. Uh, you know, the last time I took a trophy home was at a golf day and Karen was very impressed. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately it wasn't the World Cup trophy. But um, again, a uh, great spectacle. And I think, uh, you know, my player already of the tournament is going to be Andre Pollard. I mean, I know. <laughs> you can't have a world-class side without a world-class flop. And uh, so I think it's going to be a great spectacle. Uh, Nick, um, you've said it before. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, at stake. Uh, what do you think is going to... Uh, to play a vital role come, uh, come the World Cup. Yeah, you know, I think it's just one of those, <laughs> one of those tournaments where, you know, when, you know, where the guys really have to um, sort of just stick to their game plan, you know, and, and, and it's a vital game, you know. You don't, you don't just play, you know, for, you know, two or three you know, games down the line. You know, each game has to count. And, and I think it's just, you know, there's a lot of pressure at stake. But... Um, I think the box can really can really do very well. You know, we've, they've got the opening game against the New Zealand All Blacks, but you know they've just showed, um, you know, in the championship that you know they they drew and last year they actually beat them, and we could have you know we could have beat them at, uh, at at Loftus, but you know it wasn't on the day. It may be a poor decision by the referee, which I think is going to play an extremely important role. If we look at the referees, you know, you've got a few French referees and you've got guys uh, predominantly in the Northern Hemisphere. So I think, you know, on the day, you're going to have to prepare to play for, for, for 16 men, you know, um, including the referee. Um, Peter, your thoughts? Um, I my word, I, I didn't actually think you were still going to support the Springboks after all the things that you said. <laughs> a lot of flack, you know, because of my decision. But for me, it's a moral thing. <laughs> you know, hello, do I need to spell it out? I'm a Victorian. If you born and bred in Cape Town, you only support the All Blacks. <laughs> so I think the All Blacks are going to do very well. But, um, yeah, it, it's still all to play for. Um, we also have uh, you. I know you've been around the block. <laughs> You know what, literally you've been around the block because you couldn't find your hotel room. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, I think personally, myself, <laughs> it's going to be an unbelievable <laughs> tournament. You know, the Springboks could have a brilliant start to this tournament, you know, facing the New Zealand Zorbacks. I think it's going to be just, you know, basically setting the trend of what's to come. But let's not write off that very dangerous backline of the New Zealand All Blacks. But my heart says Booker, my head says Booker, and hell with that. My mouth says I'll have another belt and soda. Take it. <laughs>